The New York football giants are making moves on day one of NFL free agency. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and you're watching New York Giants now by Chat Sports. We're going to run through all of the moves the Giants have made as of 6 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, March 13th. The first one, really the biggest one so far, is Matt Breida. The Giants are re-signing the running back to a one-year deal worth up to 2.3 million dollars so they bring back their backup running back behind Saquon Barkley. I thought Matt Breida played really well for Big Blue. We'll break down him a little bit more. But then Rakeem Nunez Roches, the interior defensive lineman. They call him Nacho in Tampa. Big fan favorite over there. Um, he's going to play on the defensive line for the Giants. It's going to be a depth piece. We'll show the depth chart. We'll show you why the Giants made this move. He didn't have a lot of depth and it was a good move for Big Blue. Let's circle back to Matt Breida, though, a guy that really didn't really all play that much for Big Blue, but when he was able to get his reps, he was able to be effective. When you look at what he did this year for the New York football Giants, you see a guy that didn't have that many carries, only 54 carries, 220 yards. He had a touchdown, had a long run of 18 yards, but he really was able to affect the game in a multitude of ways. And we saw him in the playoffs. He had seven carries in two games for the Giants. He had a touchdown. He had 31 yards, had a big catch, a couple big catches. Remember that wheel route he had? Caught it on the sideline, took a hit, and held on. I'm a fan of re-signing Matt Breida. He's one of the fastest running backs in the NFL. He also had a really tough run or a couple of tough runs against the Minnesota Vikings where he would take on that first defender, run through him, finish that run and get the first down. I'm a fan of re-signing Matt Breida. But I want to ask you guys. It's not all about me. I like to take the pulse of all the real ones watching. Let me know in the comments section. What is your one-word reaction to the signing of Matt Breida? Sound off for me down in the comments section. My one-word reaction would be depth. Uh, but I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments section. And look, this is why you subscribe, guys. Giants videos every day. We go live once a week. We are the most interactive Giants YouTube channel in the world. And more subscribers equals more videos. It's 100% free. We just crossed over 25,000 subscribers. A huge accomplishment for Big Blue. Um, and we're going to keep on going. We don't stop here. The show goes on. When the Giants make a move, we make a video. I'm happy the Giants brought back Matt Breida. Um, it looks like the deal was one year for a little bit over $2 million. That's cheap. That's cheap for a backup running back. He's a good player. Um, he's going to come back. He's going to be the backup running back for the New York football Giants. I'm a fan of him. I like what he brings. I think he's a good locker room guy. I think he's a good leader. I think he's a good guy to have on your team. He's fast. He can break off a run. He's shown the ability to be good out of the backfield catching passes. And one of my favorite things that I liked from him was as the season progressed, you saw Mike Kafka and Brian Dable play Saquon Barkley and Matt Breida at the same time. Both those guys on the field at the same time allowed Saquon Barkley to line up a little bit at the wide receiver spot, give you more of a diverse look at your um, team and really your different personnel groupings that you could play together. Brita is a Swiss Army knife, and I'm glad he's back with the big blue New York football. Gee, man. We're going to break down the Rakeem Nunez Roches signing here in a second. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Athletic Greens. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports and get hooked up with them today. That link is in the comments and description of today's show. Shout out to Athletic Greens. I gave AG1 by Athletic Greens a try because I wanted better gut health and wanted a supplement that actually tastes great. I take AG1 in the morning and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. AG1 empowers the gut for whole body health, which is something that I need. I start the day with making one great choice, AG1, and more healthy decisions than follow. Covering my nutritional bases for the day literally couldn't be easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it first thing each morning. I also love that it costs less than $3 a day. 
pretty good, if you ask me. It's a really effective daily habit with the highest quality sourced ingredients. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That link is clickable in the comments, description, and the live chat. This is a storage container. This is a shaker bottle. It's awesome. Really easy to clean. Gets the job done. It promotes gut health. Supports immunity. Boosts energy. Get hooked up with them. Thank me later. You're not going to regret it. Really the first giant that has been signed outside. Really. So the first player that was signed to the Giants that wasn't a part of the Giants is Rakeem Nunez Rochas. And I'd be lying to you guys if I just knew everything about RNR, which I have learned is his nickname um, he's a good player, not a great player. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a depth piece for Big Blue. This is a guy that's going to come in and play behind Aziz Ojolari and play behind Dexter Lawrence and play behind Leonard Williams and Kayvon Thibodeau. But you might be asking, Marshall, why are the Giants signing a player on the first day of free agency that's not going to be a starter? Well, look at this depth chart. We know Tibbs is going to be here. We know Leonard. We know Dexter. We know Aziz. But O'Shane Zimenez is a free agent. Nick Williams is a free agent. Jihad Ward is a free agent. Ellis is a free agent. Tom and Fox was a UDFA last year. Henry Mondo is a young player. DJ Davidson is a young player. So you're getting a guy that's been in the NFL for a while. And I like what this man, uh, John Ledyard, who covers the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, had to say about our man, Ray, uh, Rakeem Nunez Roches, who goes by the nickname of Nacho. He says, Giants fans, Nacho is a huge trash talker, popular in the locker room, tough as nails, good versus the run, a non-factor versus the pass, and a good depth signing. You're getting a guy that sounds a lot to me like the player that you signed last year in Jihad Ward. I know we want to bring back Jihad Ward. I know we want to bring back all the players that played well for the Giants last year that were not expensive deals. But the way to keep the ball rolling, the way to keep a rebuild going up is by continuing to sign low-cost players in NFL free agency and having those guys exceed the expectation. And I believe Nacho is a guy that could do that. Reports are coming out that it's a three-year deal. We do not know the money yet on the deal, but... I feel pretty confident in saying that it is not going to be an expensive contract. This is another great move by Joe Shane. You get a depth piece, a guy that's been a part of a Super Bowl team. He's flashed in the playoffs, a good run stopper. I'm a fan. And I also love that he's played 17 games this year, and then in the prior three years, he played 16 games, which tells me he's dependable, and we know Joe Shane wants smart, tough, and dependable players. Before we wrap up what the Giants have done the rest of the day, in free agency. I want you to grade the signing of Rakeem Nunez Roches for me down in the comment section. A, B, C, D, or F. Grade the signing for me down below. I want to just close out today's show talking about what has happened for Big Blue. They have re-signed Casey Kreider. They have re-signed Jamie Gillen. They have re-signed Wyatt Davis. So they're taking care of their own free agents as we go in day one. It's not a sprint. It's a race, but it's a marathon. It is going to be a long week for the Giants. A plethora of moves will eventually come out for Big Blue. They also did lose a free agent. Nick Gates, a fan favorite, a warrior, a locker room guy, once a captain of this football team, is no longer going to be a part of Big Blue. He is signing a multi-year deal with the Washington Commanders almost up to $18 million. I believe it's three years $18 million. Congrats to Nick Gates. He deserves the pay raise. I just think with the Giants drafting Marcus McKeithen and Joshua Azudu early in the draft last year, two interior offensive linemen, you couldn't bring back Gates and Feliciano. I would look for the Giants to bring back Feliciano. But all is well to Nick Gates. I appreciate you tuning in. I want everyone to show Nick Gates some love in the comments section. I'm a big fan. How can you not? He comes back from that nasty leg injury and ends up playing football less than a year later. Type his number 65 down in the comments section. Show our guy Nick Gates some love. And remember, you can always stay up to date with the latest Giants news and rumors over on my Twitter. It's right there at Marshall Green underscore. You can go down in the description and click it below. Give me a follow so you can never miss a beat when it comes to the New York football Giants.